Who's our new captain? You driving the boat? Oh, look at Richie driving the boat. Where are we going, Captain? Hey, Richie. Hey, where, where are we, we going, going today? Look forward. I'm landing. Yeah, you gotta watch where you're driving. Got a lot of sail out there. Good job, buddy. Good job. And today we have a special treat. All the Army jets are here, the Air Force jets, and they're all doing their flybys, doing their practice runs for the, the Independence Day parades that are coming up this weekend. So I just saw all three of them launch from the airport over there, so we should see them coming and buzzing the Anchorage very soon. Are you ready, Richie? Mm -hmm. The jets are coming. Yeah, they're coming. Did you hear them? They were loud, huh? Fast. <laughs> hey, somebody calling Richie. Hey, somebody calling Richie. Columbia. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody calls Richie, Columbia. Say hi, Richie. Ciao. Wave. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Richie, I think they're going to come around way over here. I saw them circling way over there somewhere. Should be soon. the Gloria. It's the first time we've seen the Columbia Navy ship in quite a while. Maybe even two years. Looks like she's got all hands on deck, all up in the rigging. Cool. <laughs> They're hanging off the bow even.
Ah, oh, flags, nice. All flags flying, all hands on deck. Yeah, who's that, Richie? Big tall ship coming in, look at that. Maybe Richie gonna get his first look at the inside of a pirate ship today. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, would that be fun, Richie? Yeah. And welcome to the Gloria. Danny found me fast. Like you're doing good with it. Maddie's still at the beach. Which beach? The public beach with Richie. So here we are back in San Andres, Colombia, the land where the wind almost always blows and the sun almost always shines. And for that reason, we love it here because we can live almost indefinitely at anchor, fully sustained by sun and wind and almost for free. And I know a lot of you are very happy to see us back here in San Andres. And then, of course, there are those of you that are wondering, why would we ever come back to San Andres again? I think you got to admit, this is one pretty damn good incentive. There are miles and miles of endless beautiful beaches on this island. They never stop. Which of course is one of the reasons that one of my favorite things to do is ride my bike all the way around the island. I don't do it every day because it's about a 34 kilometer ride, but I do enjoy to do it often. It takes about an hour and a half non-stop, but today I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and we're going to make a couple of stops along the way.
Louisa. <laughs> and let's not forget, we have some friends here that are like family. I think you remember Sir Danny and his family, Mafi and Louisa. Good to see you, my friend. Today is your day, my friend. I want to stay with you. Why? What are we going to do? I don't know, make nothing or make videos or fly avatar or... Oh yes, fly avatar. I brought my avatar. Mafi and Louisa going? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to English class. Ah, English class. Going to study. Habla el inglés al capitán, hija. Very good. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Danny's cave. <laughs> oh, Luis has got a stage here now too. What you working on? Nicolas Gallardo, the next governor or San Andres. So this is when you were filming the parade the other day? Yes. And yesterday, remember the president? Yeah. You, you, you want to see? Sure. So the reason we've had the Gloria here and the Navy and the Jets is because July 20th was Colombia's Independence Day. And this year they had a very big reason to celebrate because they finally won the dispute that's been going on for decades with Nicaragua over San Andres and Providencia and the surrounding waters. It was almost at the point of war, but an international court awarded the rights to Colombia permanently, which will hopefully end the dispute indefinitely. And that is reason enough for them to bring everybody here to celebrate, including the president of Colombia. And Danny got the contract to put the video together for the Independence Day celebrations for the president. Good job, Danny. Now, I do have to say, Danny had a nice piece of music picked out for this video, but it was copyright protected, so I had to quick swap it out. Sorry, Danny. So of course, great friends are always good enough reason to come back to a place that holds a special spot in your heart. But alas, that's still not the only reason that we had to come back to San Andres. Now of course, the reason that we had to come back is not so much fun. Hence the reason for my silence for this long. This right here is the southernmost tip of the island, and it's very quiet because there's not a lot of traffic down here aside from the occasional tourists who love to stop and take their picture on this famous stretch of road that's lined with nothing but palm trees on both sides.
sir, Bengay. How are you? <laughs> Good, Good morning, man. Captain Rick. Good morning. You at Bengay's place. You're up early today. Yes. What's happened? Working, man. Go for what's ready. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. First, I think I want to say sorry to you guys for taking so long and keeping you all on hold and making everybody wonder hey, what the hell happened to Captain Rick. I came here because the medical facilities are actually much more affordable than any place else we go, including Panama. And I needed to get some tests done about my voice. As you guys remember, my voice has been fucked up for a long time now. Well, we finally got the test done and the news wasn't so great. So I kind of went into hiding for a while and now here I am. Yeah, I don't know what else to say except that I just needed some time away from everything, social media, just everything. Just spend some time just for me, with family, and just hang out. And this, for us, really is the best place to do it. San Andres is our favorite place in this west end of the Caribbean, you know? It's like we have friends here, we have family, we have everything we need. We can afford to live here. It's it's hard to explain. I know some of you will get it, some of you won't, but that's the nature of life, right? Uh-oh, Danny found me. <laughs> Look out. Come down to hide out. And they still find me. Yeah. <laughs> How's Good it going, friend. <laughs> yep. Everything cool? So you will hide him from you, and you still find him. Yes. <laughs> this is Providence and Ketlina, yes, San Andres. Yes. They're supposed to be down here. Yeah, yeah. This is his story. This is one history. He say, Ah, you also, wow. Ah, nice. Oh, shit. That's Providence too, right here. And the octopus. The Kraken. The Kraken. Wow. You guys know each other? Like brothers or? Yeah, yeah, something so. Cool, man. Friend. Shark. Oh, baby shark? <laughs> baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. That's for you, Richie. <laughs> That's my son. He's, his favorite thing is baby shark. Look, he's only one and a half. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> we listen to baby shark every day. <laughs> and what do you see, my friend? A crazy moment. <laughs> Is it hard to fly? Still fun? Yes, my friend.
Yeah, but the eyes, the brain, confused, need to rest. No. Oh, Capitan continue flying, but only half one battery. This is the new DJI Avatar. This is the word Richie is learning now. Fish. Fish. <laughs> he gets in the water, he looks at the water, he goes, fish, fish. <laughs> Tranquila, eh, no pasó nada. <risa> Gracias, thanks. <risa> Cheers, my friend. Very happy moment, my friend. Political. Es la última. Mr. Cesar, the road why you don't know San oh, Andreas. Only and speak English. Only speak English. That is the only thing I know to speak, man. <laughs> road English. <boy. Road> <laughs> Corrupto, vida dedicado al paso contaminado, encaminado a lo campo minado. Sé de que gobiernan y controlan nuestra tierra hipnotizado con su juego mental, limitando nuestro potencial como ser humano. No dejando que lleguemos, no quieren que seamos, quieren mantenernos controlados. ¿Qué pasó? Lo que tienen el poder, tienen el futuro en su mano. El mundo que está cambiando, acaso el humano será capaz de cambiar el microchip que le han implantado. Baila muchachita, baila muchachito, baila abuelo, baila abuelita, cambia tu ritmo, maravilla. So life on board recently has mostly just encompassed looking after little Richie and keeping him safe and happy and entertained. And of course, keep him practicing with his swimming lessons. Wow, who's that swimming so fast? Look at Richie go, wow. <laughs> you walking and running in the water. Of course, Danny and I have been enjoying testing lots of new drones, which you're gonna hear about in the near future, I'm sure. And the usual amount of fixing stuff, upgrading, testing new things. Hey, Richie likes his new flamingo. <laughs> Keeping Richie entertained and fixing more stuff. And Madalena has kept herself busy practicing new recipes with lots of healthy new local ingredients. And you can't be in San Andres and not want to spend time at the beach. So of course we've been doing lots of that, hanging out with old friends and new, and having fun testing more new drones. And then the test started. This is where the doctors performed an endoscopic inspection and found what they described as a gigantic hiatal hernia. And this, of course, is the primary cause of my voice issue. They found that the hernia has already closed my esophagus down to 25% of its normal size. I feel like I'm wired with explosives now. Uh -oh. <laughs> and if left untreated, it will continue to grow with less than desirable results. So here we are doing preliminary testing for surgery. I just finished the 2K walk, straight up there. Not dead yet, that's a good sign. Which I don't mind telling you is no fun whatsoever. What's daddy doing? Wow, daddy, you have water. The first electrocardiogram found some kind of a repolarization issue with the heart, which they say is common with some people, but for others it can become problematic during surgery, especially under anesthetic. So they ordered a second EKG with a stress test this time just to make sure that my heart would behave when under surgery. So believe me when I say I was a little bit more than anxious about the results. <laughs> Okay, good. Oh. You are very healthy. Good. Yeah, the, okay. 
Well, yeah, he said the repolarization issue is something normal in about 20% of people. Yeah, and the doctor always will be quiet during the surgeries and the ask uh, to make these tests for and I'm sure that you don't have some mm -hmm. arterial venous block. See, see. Okay, so we good. Everything's good. Yeah, you are very healthy. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, yeah. You are you're happy with more now? Huh? Yeah, you are more good. quiet? Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of time to see you smile. <laughs> Richie's laughing. What do you do to daddy? Eh? <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you laughing? Eh? You laughing? Oh. <laughs> it's like getting waxed. Oh. <laughs> so for now we're just waiting on surgery which is probably going to be about a month from now and have about a one month recovery time afterwards that should give me some time to try and stay distracted so if any of you guys have any questions feel free to ask and we'll try and answer them in a q a in a future video until then thanks as always for staying with us we really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next episode ciao for now For those of you that stuck around right to the end, here's a special bonus just for you. This is some of the official footage that most people outside of Colombia will never see. So I hope you enjoy and thanks again for watching. Gracias, mi capitán.